I'm gonna try to do this video quickly because I have Sing Sing in the back and she's gonna want this chair back. So what I'm gonna show you is a really simple exercise for your mid-back, cardiothoracic spine, and I'm gonna show you an awesome way that you can have a little bit of release, lack of a better word, so the more we can get continue to maintain this range of motion, notice my lower body is straight and my upper body is rotating without pain or discomfort, the better it is for our upper back, our posture, and we can do, this is really great for, I call it anti-Mr. Burns, you know, this look here. So if you're looking for the Mr. Burns look, watch my other videos, that's a joke. If you're trying to do the opposite of that, keep watching this. So if you have a yoga block or something equivalent to this, um, you can put a block between your knees, yoga block that is, or even a book, not something too heavy, maybe a dictionary. So notice my elbows are lined up with my shoulders and I have an imaginary soccer ball between my elbows, right there. And as I exhale and rotate, I do not release that soccer ball and my head doesn't turn. So that's my range of motion. And then I come back and then I do the opposite side. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And when do you stop? You stop this movement if you feel you're any pain or discomfort. Or if you feel the elbows separating as you're rotating, that's your end range. So my end range is a little bit different on each side because I have literally a complete dislocated shoulder and a complete bicep tear. That's from years ago, but that affects my range of motion, but does not affect my ability to participate in activities. So give that a shot. Once again, bring your elbows so they lined up with your, I'll show you a side view, line up with your shoulders, exhale, 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 inhale, and come back and you repeat that on the opposite side. The block is optional, but what does that do? It forces you to keep your lower body in, in one direction so you can't move with it. Secondly, you get a little bit of inner thigh work because you're holding that. So that's about it. That is your homework for today. You can do it at work, you can do it at home or in the gym. Give it a shot, post it in the comments, and don't forget to have a great day. By the way, thanks Sing Sing for not taking this chair, and now she's literally walking on a bureau where she should not be walking, so I need to ask her kindly to come down.